I was familiar partly with um, your work because you did the album artwork for um, the last Idea and Abilities album. Yep. Um, how long had you known them and how did that come about? Um, well, I met Idea at the Fifth Element. I used to do some rapping there and uh, we kind of just became friends and um, he had a recording, really good uh, ability of recording and so he had recorded a few projects that I had worked on um, throughout the years, like some music with my sister and um, we just kind of became friends through that and then he liked my artwork and so it all worked out that I could do that the artwork for the, um, by the world. Do you want to talk a little bit about the process of putting together this particular yeah, work? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I'm wondering like how much masking Um, okay, so... When I do a watercolor painting, I, I pretty much draw... I would say I spend about um, 60 to 70% of the time drawing, drawing and stuff. So it's really... Um, I, I even like... When I draw it out, I'll even draw out like you know, the, the top and the bottom of his eyebrow and stuff, and, and um, with, so I'll try to get everything done out. As far as masking, I honestly, in this one I didn't do any masking, That's impressive. Um, because um, it's, I kind of like, assi you know, assign different, different areas, like, you know, with the pencil first, um, and then, then kind of go in, go in with it. But this one, you know, I was trying to go... Um, I know that, you know, a lot of the talking that he and I had done, he was really into grunge music, and so I was trying to do like a, kind of like a grunge angel, in a way, like kind of have it be, be like light, so I used maybe less, um, like flesh, real real flesh colors and more yellow and white, what, I mean just the white of the paper, yeah. and, and yellow to really kind of let it shine, and then a lot of like dull, dull down grays and things to kind of have that grunge, um, I don't know, it just seemed kind of appropriate, because I would painted, you know, a few pictures of them before, and I wanted this one to kind of have a lot of energy, but, um, be respectful, and, you know, I don't know, I, I feel like it, it was a good, you know, a good combo of that, but, you know, it was, it's weird, because I don't, I don't really personally, like, oftentimes make artwork to, to grieve about things, or like, you know, I don't use artwork to deal with emotion that, that often, you know, I kind of, um, have, you know, like, more like just crying or like you know, like like human outlets, and then my art is just kind of like trying to make something beautiful. So um, this was this was like a good place to kind of have to push myself, and 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 I also was inspired, you know, thinking that like a lot of his friends and and people would see it, and yeah. you know, it'd be like it would be special for a lot of other people too. So that was a, a you know a good motivation for me too. Yeah. Was the um, like the facial expression stuff based on a photograph of him? Yeah, yes, it was. Um, yeah, I, I basically I took um, you know the some photos like a photo of his hands just to, like to avoid like copyright things. You know, I just like, yeah. took a photo of his his face and a photo of his hand and you know just kind of like, and really roughly like you know collaged them together so then it's kind of became its own image. How long did it take you? Um, a couple days. Um, I, I think like the research or like finding the right, if, you know, facial thing took about a couple hours, and then um, the uh, you know I spent about a full day drawing it out, and then um, you know did a day of watercolor, and then came, let it sit for a while, came back and did some finishing touches. Okay. Um, and then I went and got it scanned. So I guess like the whole thing took four and a half days. You know. Okay. So. I mean, I, I basically, that's how I can work. If, if it's kind of a simple composition, I can do like one day of research and and, and you know arrangement, a day of drawing, or, or sometimes two days, depending how intricate it is, mm -hmm. and then one or two days of the, of a actual watercolor painting, and then the final day is just kind of prepping it, like getting it into the scanning it, getting it to the computer, and then sending it off. So, and I'll do like different projects at the same time, so they kind of overlap. Yeah. And is the original for sale? I still have the original. Someone, if someone really wants to, to buy it, probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs>